Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to my channel, Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa, and I'm really excited to be bringing you another weekly love read. We are going to be diving on in and asking the cards about the one who is interested in you. So for those of you who are tuning in, it's because you have someone in your life that is showing that they're interested in you, and we want to know more, okay? It could be someone that's been in your life for quite some time. This could be someone new that's coming in. Or for some of you, this could be the new person that's coming into your life. Maybe they haven't showed up yet, but you're keen to know who this person is. So as always, guys, if you are connecting to these messages, then be sure to hit the like button to let me know that this reading has resonated for you. And if you enjoy my content, then be sure to stay subscribed, okay? Because in doing so, you will be notified of every time I release a new video here, especially after you hit that little tiny notifications bell, okay? Alrighty, so if you're new here, welcome guys. I really do hope this reading offers you some kind of entertainment and light and guidance. And for those of you returning, welcome back, everybody. I really do appreciate all the support. It really does mean the world. So let's find out more about the one who is interested in you. Okay. So, all right. We've got the Five of Cups, the Tower, and the Temperance card. This person who is interested in you, could they could be a strong Sagittarian here with the Temperance. I do feel um, yeah, I feel strong Sagittarian energy here. Hang on, let's just let's just grab some more cards. Oh. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be another air sign here, but I do feel that this person who is interested in you, you occupy a lot of this person's mind, their thoughts. Okay, they can't stop thinking about you. This is someone who wants to communicate or talk to you. I feel that this is someone who is quite intelligent. This may be someone who works in the legal system or with the law here. They may even be in psychology. Okay, this may be someone who has a degree in psychology. I feel this is a very intelligent person. I feel this is someone who is very much stimulated by the kinds of conversations that you have. This could be someone older than you as well. This is someone who's a bit of a wiser sort of individual. I'm getting like a silver fox here for some of you. And if it's not a silver fox, this is someone who could possibly see themselves growing older with you here. We've got the Six of Pentacles. I like it. And we also have the Page of Wands. For some of you, this, this person is either older than you, much older than you, or with the Page of Wands, much younger than you. So I don't know why, but I'm getting like a, a significant age gap between you and this person. Or it could be that this person has children from a previous relationship. Okay, but we've got fire energy here, Aries Leo Sag. At the bottom of the deck, water energy, Knight of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I feel that this person who is interested in you is um, very romantic and I feel that they want to be romantic with you. So this person who is interested in you, I wouldn't be surprised if they come forward and they invite you, say, maybe out to a romantic dinner or out on a romantic date where the both of you can just sort of sit down and really connect with each other. I get maybe more of a casual scene Yeah, this is someone who is wanting to connect with you. 
on a romantic level. I see a bunch of flowers here too. So you may get a gift from this person. You may receive flowers or some kind of a gift or an offer from this person. But this person really likes you. Okay, the Knight of Cups is an energy of someone who, who really does like you and they may even express that to you. With the lovers here, I feel that this could be someone who wants to maybe have something sexual here with you or just maybe take it to that next level. Okay, they feel a strong attraction here with you. They feel that the bond between the both of you is growing or is intensifying here. We've got the full, could be Aries energy. Again, strong young energy. I feel that this person is very adventurous or free-spirited. But the full speaks to new beginnings. So this could be someone new, just fairly new in on the scene. Maybe someone who just came into your life very unexpectedly. Maybe this was something that was not expected. Um because you've even got the tower card here and to me the tower is very unexpected so maybe you weren't looking for love or you weren't looking for this and it, this person's just showed up out of nowhere we've got the star card here as well could be aquarian energy but i feel that this person sees you as the one or sees you in a high light sees you as someone very very special Okay, I feel like this person is not letting go of you anytime soon. Okay. With the Five of Cups here, this is someone who may have regrets or may have experienced some kind of grief or loss um, not too long ago. This may be someone who, this person who is interested in you may be someone who was in your life, missed an opportunity here with you. Now they regret not maybe looking at this more seriously. They could be experiencing some kind of a void here as well. I feel like they've cut. I feel like this person has recently undergone some major shift or change or some kind of transformation. For some of you, this person may have experienced a deep loss, like a loss of a family member or a loss of a friend. Okay. With the temperance card, I feel that this person who is interested in you um, appreciates your patience. With the Six of Pentacles here, I feel that this person feels um, that this is a connection that is equal give and take. You know, they help you, you help them, they give you something and they get something from you. So I feel this is a good match. Okay, we can see this figure eight here around these pentacles. So it's like you both you both offer something. You, you both bring something to this connection. You both bring something to the table of this relationship. And they feel that that works for them. Okay, it's good for them. And they, they like that, that there's a cooperation here or there's a beautiful balance here. There's a beautiful equal give and take. The Page of Wands, this is someone who is excited about your future. Uh, it could be someone that regrets not taking this seriously in the past, but it's like now they're really excited. If, if you give them a second chance, they're like, this person's over the moon. They're so elated. They're so excited. They don't take that for granted. I feel that this person who is interested in you, you can expect a really good news 
to come forward from this person. Something that's going to elevate your mood or lift your spirits. This person wants to make you happy. This person wants to put a smile on your dial. Like I said earlier, it could be through a gift. Okay, yeah, look at this, Eight of Cups. This is someone who may have walked away from you in the past and they regret that. And they realize they should never have let you go. But yeah, expect some good news coming in this week from this person, you guys. Um, there we have it. They're your messages. Hopefully it resonated. Until next time, take care. Bye, guys.